Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to set up a NES emulator. Uh, so first you're gonna find it. Go to wherever it's at. Mine is in my documents under games. So mine's under games. Uh, you're gonna go to the NES and I'm gonna be using that Nestopia emulator. So double click on that. Uh, first you're gonna wanna set up your, your paths where everything's at. So you're gonna go to options and go to pass. If anything else opens about asking you questions where uh, if there's a, a, a file, all these files that you know hit yes, no, do you want to create it? Hit no to all of them. And make sure you come up to this thing. Uh, so you're gonna go to pass, options and path and images. You're gonna set up all, all these things, images, save data, save state, sound samples, patches, and screenshots. So first we're gonna start with images. You're gonna browse to the same folder that you just clicked on where the emulator's at. So you hit browse, and you're gonna go to your username or go to the NES folder, wherever it's at. Mine's under my name, uh, my documents, games, NES, and then here's where all the folders are at. So you're gonna find images and you click on it and then hit OK. And you do that for all of them. Save data. Same thing, go to your NES folder, wherever it's at. So save data is actually just save. The word save, you hit OK. Save states will be in the same place under just states. Sound samples will be under samples. Patches will be under patches and screenshots will be under screenshots. The only one that's different is save data, which is gonna be just under the word save. All right, so you probably wanna pause it and do all that first. Um, when you get to screenshots, you can save screenshots under any of these three options that you have here. I prefer JPG because it's a smaller file and just easier to mess with. Uh, so then you hit okay. So you can pause it right now and just go through all that and then continue when when you finish all that. All right, so now hit OK. And now you want, you want to connect your controller. So you're gonna go to Options and Input. Automatically, if you have your joystick control plugged in, it should pop up right here under the name. Mine's is a P880. Uh, and to set all the buttons up, it should be automatic already, but if not, you're gonna grab your controller in your hand and set up the buttons exactly how you want here's left up right down select start ba uh auto fire b auto fire a so you're gonna hit uh set all so you have a timer right here so you gotta hurry up and do it so left you're gonna press left up press up you know right down uh find a button to first select find a button for start for b for a auto fire b auto fire a and for this one, I pretty much just hit the space bar because it's just it's pretty much nothing. I don't know what that means, that button is, but. So once you go through all that and you set it up, you're gonna hit okay. And now uh, you can either set up how big you want the screen. S uh, view, screen size. So you can have it as big as you want. Time one, X1, X2, or X3, or if you want it to the max, which would be like your whole screen, you could do that too. I prefer this one, it's just big enough, it works for me. Uh, you do whatever you think works for you. So now you're ready to play the game. Uh, you're gonna hit File, Open, and sometimes you don't appear right away where your ROMs are at. So let's just say that, that you're under, you're, you're somewhere on, um, on the desktop, let's just say. Uh, to find your games, you go find your games where they're at. So to find that, uh, what I do is I click right here. Actually, no, I hit uh, uh, my username. Actually, you just go to my documents, or wherever your games are at. You got to find them. So mine is in my documents. Games, NES, uh, ROMs. ROMs is where all your games are at. And then you just find your game. Find whatever you want to play. So you can just be like... Oh my god, I haven't played Super Mario Bros. in so long since I was like six. Let's just say that because you know, 
I'm a little older, but it's uh, nobody's gotta know that. You know what I'm saying? So, so you're gonna go to a. Uh, you're gonna find. You, if you can't find it quick enough, just type it in here. Super. Okay, so you get them all right there, and then you know, of course, you click on it. Once it comes out, you hit open. Oh, oh my God! I haven't played in so long. Here we go. Here we go. So then you say screw the mushroom and then you oh I died. So that ends this tutorial. If you have any questions, leave me a comment and don't forget to visit me at www.boricoavega.com. Thank you for watching.